when we put out the first record Parma Violets that was in 2016 and I'd only been writing songs for maybe six months or so um, and we kind of just went into the studio and recorded them over a summer so I didn't really know a lot about songwriting and I think it was one of those things where it's like when you're just starting out you're writing like your first love song or your first breakup song or you know whatever and uh, writing Peninsula is like me kind of building on more years of not only working on my craft but also touring those songs and and playing live with a band so it kind of influenced a lot of the bigger fuller arrangements on Peninsula but I think a lot of the kind of the sensibilities in those songs are still there in Peninsula but definitely the songwriting's hopefully gotten more mature for sure. I think the biggest challenge for me was kind of just getting over the initial um it was almost like a barricade in the writing process where like for a while everything that I was writing just kind of it was okay but it wasn't like it wasn't getting me excited or I wasn't pumped with it um and I think I kind of had to really push through that to to get to the songs that would eventually be on this record um to be excited about it and, and something that felt right you know
big thing was that I just needed a change of scenery so I took a trip to Lisbon in Portugal um, and kind of used that as just a time to like clear my head you know be in a different country and just you know pay attention to things and 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 really you know try to siphon what I was experiencing and, and put it into songs in some way and like reflect a bit more because um, I think sometimes when you're just kind of in the grind it's harder to get perspective on things and kind of instead of always um kind of outpouring things kind of get a little bit more of input and listen to songs and and go to a museum and like you know take a walk outside and have a bit more uh information coming in than going out all the time um but also for me like kind of just a change of scenery is always a good shout to kind of refresh um what you're doing creatively
the recording process with like working with um, session musicians and and string players and different people kind of made the the sound of the the album much more expansive compared to something like uh, Parma Violets because a lot of that was came from a kind of naive very unassuming place and it was much more stripped back um the more i've the more i do it the kind of better i i get at like communicating ideas because i know sometimes when you you go into studios like like myself i'm not um a trained musician i'm self-taught and a lot of musicians are self-taught so kind of communicating and finding the language for sound can be quite challenging but um i think it's i feel like i'm definitely really interested in kind of opening that out more to um other musicians ways of playing and expressing themselves and kind of bringing their own thing to the songs that i write so that was one of the really exciting things um when we were working on peninsula was just like hearing (laughs) an actual string player perform um the parts that i'd written we were talking about putting some musicians together and i was really super lucky that my first choice musicians were available so um stella musgava who drums for Warpaint and is just the most incredible drummer and an amazing person i happened to ask her she said you're not you know happen to be in britain at this point do you and she was and she was free so she could come and do the session which was just brilliant and then we got Frank, who normally plays in the band Blind Avon, who's an amazing bass player. And then Naomi. And there's the, see, I hadn't worked with Naomi before, so I didn't know. I didn't actually know if she was any good at playing guitar or not. I knew the demo sounded good and the record sounded good, but that doesn't really tell you if someone can do it. So I made sure we had plenty of time to record. But then she just nailed everything really quickly. She's an amazing guitarist and a, and a really brilliant vocalist. So she's super fast and we just nail takes and we're like, oh, okay then. So we go home early today. I love working with amazing musicians.
I think when I think of the record, because um, it is very visual to me, I like I tend to think very visually, and a lot of the lyrics um, have images and and kind of memories from just when I've been traveling or touring, um, and just memories from you know my day-to-day life and things like that. So it does feel kind of like a collage of the past maybe two years for me. Yeah, different places and people and and scenarios that have just happened that I've tried to kind of siphon without like creating, um, not with like pointing giant flags that like this is from this time, but also just kind of um, making sure that, yeah, these cool images that um, and experiences that I've had have filtered their way into the record. I wonder what you were like as a child The way that you smiled under The eucalyptus trees And when you sit across from me In cafes and tall gypsy tales The flickle forest tales so high You miss the song what I want people to take away from the record is that no man is an island and and this just the whole metaphor of peninsula um, that you can still be an individual and still exert some kind of autonomy and an individuality while being connected to this bigger thing um, in your community or in in love with your partner or with your family and your friends that you know you're always going to be part of something bigger and that's a really cool thing um, yeah and that there's there's a really hopeful, joyful thing to that, for sure. And 
Your heart's in Australia now. A heating call of Kookaburra. Gum nuts from the eucalyptus. Things that I have yet to witness. What you want cannot be bound. Into leather works of fiction, woven into silken tapestries, like the one you showed me, Bashfully. I know. Southern fry.